there's a tendency as human beings to look to the external world, to look to factors out of our control for why we're not as successful as we want to be, or we don't get the acclaim that we deem ourselves to deserve. I've always said that I don't want to be that guy propping up a bar in 30 years, talking to the bodybuilders, the new kids coming up about how I used to be their side and I could have been someone. Because the fact is that person isn't. They didn't stick with the grind, they didn't put in the painful hours and they didn't persevere through their life's challenges. Up until now, I've been a lot of talk. Up until now, I've let the world get to my head. But this year, we take back control and everything changes. Because this year, we'll be stage ready. Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Samuel Richards and this is the Stage Ready series. In this series, we cover everything to do with competitive bodybuilding for the very first time. I'm going to be stepping on stage for the first time in August in Classic Physique with Two Bros Pro, the Body by O Classic. This is a massive step for many of us and a lot of you like me have been, you know, working out for years. Maybe you've just started getting serious, a bit like myself. And you want to take that step to demonstrate to the world what you're capable of and what you've achieved. Well, there's lots of parts of that journey that aren't discussed. And that's what we're going to do here within this series. I'm going to kick it off with one of the most important ones that personally I was never warned about. This is all about the true cost of contest prep. It shouldn't need to be said, but there are things along this journey which make the finance side incredibly important. You're in a very fragile mental and physical place, probably the most fragile you've been in some time. I'm only early into my contest prep and already mentally, you know, it's easy to get triggered and it's easy to get down about simple things. So imagine what substantial financial prep pressure could do to that. There are also things along this journey that you need to be able to pay for. If you cannot pay for them and you do not know at the start that you'll be able to consistently cover those costs, then you're going to take major health risks and you will derail your whole competition. So the important thing is to get this right first time. And I'm going to give you a bit of an insight into what's needed to be able to do that. Cost number one, and it's an important one. It is coaching. Now, why is this important for a first time? Lots of guys try and take themselves through this journey on their own and it's an important thing to try at some point but first time that you're competing you have zero practical knowledge of this you have, might have all the theoretical knowledge you might be an absolute on paper expert in bodybuilding but unfortunately i'd say about 70 to 80 percent of bodybuilding isn't on paper it's not scientific it's an art form to be able to take somebody to that pinnacle of contest prep to take them to the point where they are exactly where they need to be when they step on stage now, coaching can range. This includes the top guys, but the price range is around 100 per month, and that's British pounds, all the way to 300. Now, that includes, from my research, some very, very, very credible people, and it's completely up to you who you choose. But you should always make sure to choose somebody based on their credentials, their theoretical knowledge and their expertise on this subject, and practical results. Look at who they've taken through this. Look at people who are un on their roster and, you know, try and pick maybe the coach of the person that you look up to the most, who you think nails it the most. There are social media influencers out there and personalities on YouTube who will charge you five figures for coaching. And that's barely justifiable if you're talking Mr. Olympia, if we're honest. And even then, they're taking percentages, not charging you a 10, 20 grand figure out front. So try and make sure you're realistic. There is probably not prize money up for grabs. Choose somebody within that bracket, but choose them on expertise. Moving on to cost number two. Now that coach that you've just booked is going to give you a diet plan and you're going to need to stick exactly to it, or at least, you know, with a few substitutes here and there. Now my diet personally probably cost me between 80 and 100 British pounds per week. Uh, that's quite moderate, actually, for a bodybuilding prep. It's because I keep things very simple, very plain. I feel like the only flavor I really add is in spice and sauce, and that's all factored in. So you could spend up to £150 per week. 
And you do have to eat as instructed. You can't just say, well, they've ordered me to eat, you know, chicken or rice. I'm going to have a fucking ham sandwich. You know, especially when you're getting later into prep, your food selection is going to be incredibly important. So be prepared for your food costs to go up, I would say, roughly 50%. Now, sticking with the monthly costs, we're going to talk supplements. Now, supplements are a tricky one. I'm going to literally read you off what I take. Uh, this is variable person to person, but these are what I deem to be the absolute essentials. So starting off, we're going to talk about health. And in my eyes, a good organ health stack should be no less than sort of 30 to 50 pounds per month. That's simply for the fact that you need an all-round approach to your heart, your liver, your kidneys, and you need to make sure that you've got enough leeway there that if blood pressure spikes, you've got some options to rectify that. Second cost is going to be protein. Now, I managed to limit this protein powder to about £40 a month. You get most of your protein from uh, whole food sources. This reduces the cost quite a lot, and it is always cheaper than getting a powder. But uh, needless to say, it is very handy to have some anyway. And that's based on my protein, a sort of bulk powder supplier. Number three, and I do think this is essential during prep, uh, pre-workout. I mean, a good pre-workout, you're looking at maybe £25 a month. Then we're looking at an intra, so something to have during your workout. Now, the reason why this is important to me is because during a deficit, you're probably going to be fairly hungry most of the time. The one time that you really do not want to be hungry is during your workout. If you're hungry, if... You know, your mind's elsewhere. It's just not going to help you and your body won't be fueled in the right way to attack the sets, to be able to shift the weight you need to shift. And with strength easily decreasing in a deficit, you want to make sure you're on top of that. So that's about £30, I would say, per month for just some HBCD, highly branched cyclic dextrin, and some EAAs, maybe some creatine. Then uh, for myself, for example, there will be a fat burner in the form of Yohimbin. That is around £25. So all these things are what I will be taking uh, and they total up to be between £80 to £100 per month. Let's move on to one-off costs. And the first of which is going to be the one that you've probably been waiting for. That's anabolics. Uh, now, this is obviously only applies if you're an enhanced bodybuilder. But let's face it, if you're competing in a competitive federation, such as Two Bros Pro in the UK or the IFBB, uh, even in a first time as amateur show, you're going to be competing with people who are enhanced. And a lot of these people wait a long time to compete. So they may have been enhanced for some time. So drugs. Now, this is very dependent on you, your cycle, your coach, their approach to things. I'm quite lucky. My coach is about as reserved as I am, if not a bit more reserved in terms of anabolics. And my cycle for a contest prep is probably going to reach between 200 and 500 pounds. More around the 200, 300 mark, but that's because obviously I already you know, have some of this. To hand um, and so I would say that if your coach is making you spend more than say 500 pounds you're probably doing too much um, given the fact that you know I'm running some of the more expensive compounds during this process because I'm trying to stay away from 19 nores uh, for my first time competing at least just to judge whether I can stay competitive without them for now and the next cost which very much links into that is blood work now, for me, a credible blood work panel, which covers every single thing that you're probably going to need to keep an eye on during prep, is going to cost you roughly, I don't know, maybe £75 a time. And you're going to look to do that probably twice during the process, at very minimum before you jump on your prep cycle and during your prep cycle. But you may even need to do this more frequently leading up to the show to make sure that health marks are OK. As, of course, you may be running some compounds which are very harsh on stuff like lipids and your liver. So these things are worth bearing in mind and quite simply blood tests are going to be essential. The last thing you want to do is be one of those guys who is reported in the news to collapse on stage and it's happened before and a health conscious approach to bodybuilding is going to be extremely important early on in your career in order to be able to continue and have a long career. So we're getting closer to the contest itself. Now we're going to be talking about registry. So with a federation, uh, you will need to pay a registration fee. In the UK with Two Bros Pro, that's MPC Worldwide as we're connected to the IFBB Pro League. And I believe that cost runs between 50 and 70 pounds. 
I can't remember exactly, but that needs to be renewed annually, I believe. And you just need to pay that before you're able to actually register for the show or at least before you turn up on the day to compete. You've made it through, you've registered, you've been dieting for months, you've loaded up on on orals and and you're uh, you're looking dry and diced and lean. But the important thing to bear in mind is that you still haven't registered for your competition and covered the show day costs. So a competition registration for one category is £120. You can register for multiple categories if you like. Personally, I'm only going into a first timers because all I want is some judges feedback and some ideas for growth in the off season. I'm not at the point yet where I'm going to be competitive in an open class. Uh, the UK bodybuilding scene is extremely competitive, as you probably know. Uh, so obviously I'm just doing this to get a gauge. You can compete in multiple different categories, go from first timers to open if you like on your first show. But personally, I'm going to save that for next year. So £120 out of the, out of the gates. Then we're talking about the aesthetic side of it. You've got tanning and waxing. Now I recommend waxing because shaving, yes, you can do it, fresh razor on the same day, whatever, but waxing is just gonna give you a bit more leeway to get it done a bit earlier and it's gonna provide a more total coverage of your body. You wanna make sure that you're smooth and you don't have any issues like that because at the end of the day, you're gonna have a tan on you as well. Tanning will range, I believe, up to about 50 pounds. Waxing between 80 and 100. So these things are not cheap, they're worth bearing in mind, and you absolutely need to do both of them. Uh, you can shave, sure, so you could reduce that cost if you want, but in my opinion, going with what I'm going to be doing, not so much. Then we've got actually getting there and potentially having to stay overnight. So some shows uh, may have split day uh, judging, uh, some shows may be just located further away from your hometown and you need to be able to stay overnight to be able to feel rested and just show up on the day. Uh, if you've got early registration, for example, hotels are going to range anywhere between about £50 and £100, let's say, for a decently uh, kitted out hotel, which gives you everything you need. And travel is flexible. We won't include that cost because, to be honest, we're splitting hairs at that point. But then we've got actually what you're going to wear. You know, you're not going to turn up in your box shorts, are you? You need to pay for posing trunks and they range anywhere between about 30 and 40 pounds. So not really that much, but you need to make sure you get the right cut for your uh, division and for whatever federation you're competing in because they are all different. Then we're going to look at the idea of whether you want to get photos taken. Uh, you can get competition packages. You can have somebody in the audience film you. Personally, I would recommend if you can get people to film you on high quality sort of smartphones, but otherwise just just pay for it. You, you've put so much money into this already. You want to get that evidence. Uh, let's face it, half of bodybuilding is the Instagram game nowadays. You want to get that footage. You want to get those photos. You want to mark that moment properly. And uh, a proper professional photographer will be key for that. And that totals out at £65 through Two Growth Pro. And that's it. So the running total, once you add all of that up, we're looking at about £1,400. Now bear in mind some of those costs are, you know, running monthly and I have actually totaled this up with an uh, estimate of four months of coaching um, and, you know, anabolics based off my cycle. So these costs can definitely vary and mine is more of a moderate cost in terms of a competition prep. So this could go, you know, way, way up. You could be looking at a couple of grand for your first competition. I would recommend trying to do it while you're in a financially stable place where this isn't cutting you close to the breadline, where potentially a minor change could upset this. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, this is the first time, obviously, you know, filming something for this prep series, and it's really important to me to be able to document every single stage of this. So if there is something that you've been wondering about, about competing, um, bear in mind, I'm only early into the prep, but I can take these ideas forward into future videos. Please do drop a uh, comment below. Uh, drop a like if you enjoyed it. If there was any content in here that, you know, you haven't seen elsewhere that was valuable, uh, that's maybe helped you make a decision, then, uh, then please do show your support for the channel click subscribe, press the bell and click like and uh, we'll be back very soon for the next video in the Stage Ready series.